This is the Equinox Helix XP. One of my best selling lights. Sold loads and loads of these. If you don't know what this light is, you need to go and check some of our other videos. Right, so this is a LED moonflower. This is not what this video is about today, but it is kind of, kind of. Right, so if you don't know what this is, this is a Helix XP moonflower. Go and find a video on it. And if you haven't got this light in your life, you need to have a think about it. Today, however, we're going to have a look at something else, something new. And these, this is the Equinox Helix 150 XP scan. And this is the Helix XP 150 roller slash barrel. Two light effects, two new light effects from Equinox. Part of the Helix family. And what's great about these is these will master slave. So we can connect that into there and that into there and they'll all work and do an integrated light show with no DMX programming. So master slave, we've all seen lights before. So if you had two of these, you know two of these would master and slave, yeah? Or if you had two of these, they would master and slave and two of these would master and slave. But these three being of the same family will all master and slave. So you could have two scanners and two moonflowers, all master slave, two rollers, Two moonflowers, master slave, anything you want. All just by putting a cable between them. Right, there's quite a lot to get into on this video. So, I'd go and get the kettle on and uh, get yourself comfortable. What we are going to do is we're going to take these two out on location. So we're going to take these to a venue in the town um, called the Dolphin Centre. And it's a leisure centre and they've got a massive big function room. Uh, really nice room. We're going to take these two fixtures into that room because we've got one of my mates that's doing a gig there uh, for the Christmas parties and everything. And I said, can I come along and film these in there before you get started with your party? Because it's a nice big room. Also, what we'll do is we'll show you them working uh, in the shop. Uh, we'll put some smoke and haze on. So this video is going to be broke up into a few bits. But I think this is a really interesting product. Part of the Helix range. Where should we start? Let's start with the scanner. Right, so let's talk about the scanner first. Let me tell you, on both of these units, solid metal, really, really well built. Looks like it'll uh, stand the life of, on the road. So really good fixings here. So to tighten and slacken, I've had no problems there. You know, sometimes they're, they're not the greatest, but these, yeah, it, the, the build quality on this, Really good, really, really happy with. So anyhow, let's just run through some of the specs. So this is the scanner, which is a single mirror. It's a 150 watt cool white LED. I've got my trusty piece of paper. Some things never change because I can't remember anything. So 150 watt LED. This, we're going to push onto this mirror and then this will scan about. But we'll show you all this in the video later. It's got a 15 degree beam angle and it's got a motorized focus because you'll notice then we'll go here, right? On a fixture like this, it's got the focus here. Yep. This, the scanner, and the roller have got motorized focuses. Now, when I took it to this venue, I didn't take a DMX desk, if I've been honest. Uh, I just plugged it in, and the room was quite big, it was slightly out of focus. But I went into the settings on the unit and focused it via the menu on the back of the scanner. So it's really good, so you can access the focus. Um, we've got nine colours on a separate colour wheel and we've got open as well, so we've got open spot. We've got a three facet circular rotating prism. So this prisms out like a lot of, like a lot of the moving heads that do. Right, uh, eight rotating gobos. DMX because we can control this under DMX and we've got two, ten and twelve channels. We've got a pan of 130 degree and a tilt of 42 degrees. Also on the back of the unit, right? And these, I think these are, the, this is not one of the official ones out of the box. The, the, this is one of the early ones. It's a finished product. So what we see today is what we're gonna get, but this is one of the early ones. So there's no screen printing on the back of here. When you get yours, I'm sure there'll be some screen printing on the back, I think. Anyhow, 
It's power con in and power con out for the power, and it's three pin XLR for the DMX, and then we've got our menu here. We've got this little uh, quarter inch jack socket here, and that is for a CA8 controller, which is a very simple three button controller. Um, now, these CA8 controllers will not control everything that this does. It's a very generic controller that, and it just will do certain things. It'll black, black this out. It will possibly strobe it and things like that. Uh, so you will be limited to what you can do with the CAA controller, uh, and it is optional, it doesn't come with it. Anything else I need to add? It also comes with, and I haven't seen these yet, so it comes loaded with the gobos that are in it, but then it also comes with another extra gobo pack with 11 additional and this is what they're right in the in the spiel on the internet. Um, eight, no, eleven additional popular gobos. So I imagine what we're going to get in there, and I'm going to guess because the Helix, the Helix Moonflower, we talked before, came with a gobo pack. And to be honest with you, the gobo pack was really good because it came with things like snowflakes, it came with uh, love hearts, and um, some other like occasional type gobos that you would use for Christmas parties and things like that. Don't know what that gobo pack is yet, but it does say that it comes with 11 additional gobos. So I'm not going to be able to show you those neither because I, I haven't got them. So in a nutshell, that is the scanner. Moving across to the roller. So, quite simply, the specs are about the same between the two of them. So they've, got, they've both got this, the barrel, has got a 150 watt LED, uh, it's got motorised focus, nine colours plus open, uh, we've got rotating gobos as well, uh, we've got, uh, it, it, this what's going to be different on this is obviously it's on a barrel and if you've never seen a barrel before, but again you'll see this in a bit, it's going to split it off into several different beams and this rolls as well, so it is a different effect, um, but the specifications between the two are about the same. Coming to the back of the unit, again, you've got your power con in, power con out, XLR for your DMX three pins, and you can use a CA8 controller. Just want to come to uh, look at the front of this unit though, just before, because I know someone's going to ask, I want to be able to hang it up. This bracket goes right round, so you can have it like that. It's a double yoke bra bracket as well, gained metal. I really like these fasteners here because it really makes it, you know, so you can get it nice and tight so you can get it hung up so you can hang it. It's got some feet on it as well at the bottom. So if you wanted to use the use it like that and angle it back, or you can have it how oh, I've got it there and use the, the double yoke. It's waiting for me to drop this in. Absolutely. You can guarantee I'll do that live on camera. There we go. So solid bracket, both the same. They're both roughly, I think they're both identically the same size. I think the weight on them is just over seven kilos. Uh, what I think we do need to do is I think we need to put them on. So we're going to take them to the venue and then we're also going to... Uh, do some filming in here because at this venue we're going to, we can't use smoke. So we won't be able to do the beams of light. It's because it's a council run building and they just don't allow smoke in here. So we just wanted to show how far these would throw uh, in a big room. And you know, we've got a fairly decent lighting showroom, but it isn't as big as uh, this room that we're going to go to. So probably the next bit in the video, we're going to jump to the Dolphin Centre in Darlington. As promised, I said I was going to take this lighting on location. So I have come to one of the finest venues in Darlington, which is a council-run venue, and it's called the Dolphin Centre. And as you can see, it's a beautiful room. What we can't use in here, mind, is we can't use any smoke. So we'll take the lights back to the shop, and we'll do some... Um, We'll do some video there with it in smoke. But what I want you to do is bring them to this venue to show you the gobos on the wall and how they stay in focus. So, in a minute, we're going to put them on. Right, so quite simply, what we've done is just put these this on the stage because we've only got one of each. Right, we've got one roller and one barrel. And we just put that on the stage and we point it out there. 
and we'll just let you have a look at that for a little bit. It's a nice big room. Remember, this is interchangeable go bows as well. So you will be able to change the go bows. I don't know what the go bow set is that's coming with it just yet. I have slowed it down. So it's just in auto mode and I've slowed it down a bit just so we can get, you know, I didn't want it flying around the room too much. Think under DMX controlling that, I think it would look absolutely stunning. Put a bit of smoke on it, I think it'd look epic in here. And that is just one of them. And that's the that's the roller that we're using there now. So like I say, it's just there. This room's just getting ready for a Christmas party. So the, the dance floor's down, it's looking good. I think the room looks stunning. All the up lighting's up. This is how the room will be lit during the party. And I think you can see it. That looks great. Let's have a look at the scanner. Right, so the first one, that was the uh, barrel. And now we're going to have a look at the scanner again. We've just put it on a stage, side it on the floor, and we're going to have a look at it. So there we go, that is the scanner, which has a three facet prism. You'll be able to hear some other noise in the background because everybody's working, getting ready for the party for tonight. Again, we've just put it into a auto mode. It would be really nice to see that in smoke, but unfortunately we can't use smoke because it's a council building. Um, like I say, if you can hear some noise, just the guys working in the background. Oh, there we go. Again, that is just one scanner. Imagine a pair of them in a room. I think that's gonna, that's a real room filler. Remember these will work master and slave as well. And they link with all of the Helix XP range. So if you've got Helix XP, you better put your moonflowers on with this. But I think that looks stunning. Right, so that was great. It was brilliant to be able to take that to the venue. So thank you very much to the Dolphin Centre for letting us do that. Um, and of course, thank you to my mate Carl, who was doing the DJ in there that night. Does a superb job. Carl from Ultimate Disco Services, Darlington. So them were the guys that helped me get these into there to show you them in a big room. I think they coped brilliantly, right? Now, you know, when it comes to brightness, this has got a 150 watt LED. I thought it was well bright enough for in that room. But you could argue that what happens if you put it up against something like this, which is a 150 watt LED moving head, right? Now, that effect's different to that effect and that effect, they're all different, right? But this has got an LED in it and it's just going straight out, which will make it just seem a little bit brighter. This has got the LED light coming out of here, then bouncing onto a mirror. You're always going to lose a little bit of brightness between bouncing it off mirrors and things like that, and then off. And again, this is getting the light is getting bounced onto um, several mirrors. Now, what we are going to do in the next of the video. So, do I think that this 150 watt LED moving head would be brighter than these? I think it will possibly have the edge on it. Did I think these were bright enough in that room? 
Yeah, I did. Actually, I did. I thought they were well bright enough. I thought they looked really, really good. But you can't compare it to like, say you went and got a 200 watt, like that moving head over there, I don't know where you can see on the camera, that's got a 200 watt LED. It'll wipe the floor with all of these, right? So, what are we gonna do in the rest of the video? I'm gonna try and keep this video short-ish. We're gonna take them into the lighting room, we're gonna put some smoke on, and we're gonna master slave these. Now, we're not gonna put them into sound mode, because it'll just be crazy, we won't be able to see what's going on. So I'm gonna try and slow them down a little bit, and just get them so we can see the beams, what the beam effect's gonna be like. We've seen what the gobos are like. Um, at the end of this video, I'll probably send, uh, I will put a link to uh, our website, then it be in the description, uh, and it will show you the gobo pack. I found a picture of the gobo pack that's coming with these, and it's actually the same that's coming with these, which would make a lot of sense, because if you had that and this, you'd want it to have the same gobo, so yeah, Common sense prevailed. The same gobo pack in both. Now, if you're going to change gobos around as well, and I've been having to think about this, you've got to make sure your gobos are in the right position with on the gobo wheel. So, if you've got the hearts in position two, it needs to be in position two on this as well. Now, one of the things I'm going to have a slight problem with is because I haven't got a full gobo pack. I don't know how well this is going to master and slave up because this has got different gobos in it to these. So I don't know how that's going to work, so we might end up with a bit of a mix match. Right, so this has been trickier to film than what I thought it was going to be. For one, this room ain't big enough, right? No way big enough. Let me tell you what's going on. We have got the barrel off to the right hand side, we have got the moonflower in the middle. And we've got the scanner on the left. Now, I am having some problems because I've got a big a mix match of uh, gobos. Because, remember, these are not the finished production and I haven't got my boxed stock yet. ProLite sent me these to have a look at. So, um, it might not be completely master and slaved matched up gobo-wise. But otherwise, I think I've got that there working. Now, what has pleasantly, and I mean pleasantly, really pleased with this is they all look the same brightness um which i think is a really tricky thing to do because they're three very different fixtures they've got the same led in but that moonflower that's coming directly through a lens well bounced onto a mirror then through a lens and out the other one is split across the barrel is split across lots of little mirrors and then you've got the scanner that's bouncing off one mirror so i really thought we might have a problem with these not matching up brightness wise but i think you'll agree they look absolutely stunning now obviously we've got a mixed match of uh product there as well you wouldn't buy one scanner one moonflower and one roller you can but you wouldn't you'd probably buy pairs of things so you'd either have a pair of rollers and a moonflower or a pair of scanners and a coo two moonflowers but i think you can get an idea there that that looks stunning um really really pleased with that it was fairly easy to master and slave like i say i've got a mix a mix match of gobos that's just because we haven't got the full gobos packs yet but when the retail product lands with us in january we will have it all set up and what we'll also do is we'll probably do another little video in a maybe month's time and we'll get them right up onto the rig but because these are going back to pro light i really just wanted to do a quick video so we'll just put them down there on the floor I'll do a couple more camera angles, uh, but I think you'll get the idea. So there you go. That's the Helix Barrel 150 XP, the Helix Scan, and the Moonflower in the middle. Uh, it's been a long video that, but I think there was a lot to talk about. I think we'll probably do another video when I get the GoBo packs all matching up as well, which will probably be into the new year now, and uh, probably sometime in January. And then we'll also have them set up in the shop, up up a height on the on the rig. But I really hope that gave you a great idea. Um, if you want some more information on these fixtures, please click the link in the description to this video. If you like our videos, we're always reviewing sound and lighting products. 
Uh, it's really important. Give the bell a ring. Give us a like. Give us a share. Give us a subscribe. Smoking phase one. Cheers.